Shane has been kicking my butt. Time ain't no, I can't stop now. Never slow me down. I was born to run. I was born to run, baby. Alright. It's definitely not gonna be easy because life is about hurdles, obstacles, and this is gonna be part of that process. That doesn't mean that I don't think that I'm not gonna be able to do it. Um, I think I'll definitely be more than ready and have the mental capability to push through myself anything that comes my way. So uh, it won't be easy, but I know for sure I won't stop till I get to the finish line. I feel really confident in him. I'm just, I've never lived in an RV. He hasn't either, so it's gonna be a challenge that way for him to, you know, do all the recovery and eat as much as he needs, but. I think we're gonna be able to get it done. It's a beautiful people, my beautiful people. A beautiful people. <laughs> a beautiful day. I have my girlfriend with me. I have my best friend uh, who's driving. I've run by myself every day for almost four years, so I'm okay, but who knows when we're doing ultra distance, that's a different game. So I think it's only gonna help if some people come along, friends or anybody, just to get a few miles in. I just have to remember my reason. As soon as I have that, in the back of my mind, I'm good. So Soul for Soul is a nonprofit. Their goal is always to get shoes and money and clothes for people. Like 300 million people, according to them, don't have shoes to wear. 100% of the proceed goes to that. And um, I'm excited to do whatever it takes to add onto that shoes, money, or clothes. Dimshot family, let's go. Yes, I love it. If you guys want to run for a little bit, you're welcome. I love this, I love this, I love this, I love this. Inspiring words to say to have. Uh, you got this. That's it. You got it. Let's go. Let's go. We just started. The energy is high, but uh, I'm ready. I'm ready for anything to come. I'm ready for the challenge. I'm ready to face it. Promise y'all. No matter the circumstances, I'm gonna give my best. I'll see y'all in New York City. No, that's too soon to say, but I'll see y'all soon. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, we stopped for a little bit, put on our hydration vest, and I got some headphones, and I got my shades. So, we stunning. This is the funny thing I do. Whenever I pause my run, I make a mark. I'm not gonna start in front of this. Nope, I gotta start where I stopped. That's what I gotta do. We're running every inch, everything on the way. To New York City, baby. In the middle of my run, I had these couple coming at me. Lady was more aggressive. Um, she asked me what I'm doing. I said, I'm running across the country for a nonprofit. She's like, that's bullshit. You're gonna get cut up. And she's coming towards us with a dog and started chasing us. Luckily, I bell next to me with a car. So I jumped into the car to pause the run, but she was literally chasing us. And um, and we don't know if she has a knife or a gun, so we decided to pause the run. I'm in the car, we drove away. I'm gonna try to call the authority. Maybe they can escort me through around Route 66. It's the only way through. We are in the Navajo Nation right now in Arizona, creeping up on New Mexico. We're getting there. We're more than halfway over uh, in the state of Arizona. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit. First, if you're asking, why do I have a hat on? It's freezing in Arizona. I never thought it'd be this cold in Arizona. It's cold. I have hand warmers in my gloves and uh, I have my hat on, keeping me warm. But this line is beautiful. So beautiful. Check it out real quick. Check this out. I mean, this is not even the coolest part. And thanks to you guys, if it wasn't the beautiful audience of like yourself, I wouldn't have this, everything that I have right now. So forever grateful and I'll always remember that. The elevation has been kicking my butt. So my knee right here has been bothering me and my ankle has been bothering me no matter what, okay? Let's go. Day 20 and it's windy. I got some beautiful people over here just giving all their effort to help me, to make me feel better. My leg was really throbbing. Look what he's doing right now, putting ice on it. I'm supposed to be eating. I have 
a sandwich, but I have zero appetite. It's the worst, and I know I need the calories in me, so I have to like force myself to eat. Because of you guys, because of you guys, I keep saying this, I may sound like a broken record. This is possible. They're supporting me because I have an audience and because you support me, I appreciate you guys. So uh, let's keep going, I'll see y'all soon. Let's get it, let's go. Um, I've seen some weird things. If you hallucinate, I've seen bears that weren't even there. Huge crack run through the windshield. So I got nervous when he put his hand on the gun. <laughs> <laughs> 